It is Stellar Crown launch day, and to celebrate, we are going to do something a little different on the channel, and we don't normally do, and we are going to be ripping a Stellar Crown booster box. Now, I'm actually fairly excited for this set. My chase cards, um, hmm, the Terrapagos, the Dash Bun, the Hydrapple, and the Bulbasaur and Squirtle IRs. So that is what we are chasing. We're just gonna jump straight into it. We're gonna make an absolute mess in here. The bulk cards are gonna be everywhere, but we are going to get into that. So that is what we are chasing. Ooh, that Mewtwo is cool. I'm gonna try to get through this so we're not taking Joltik's cool. Ooh, go, dang. First hit, dang. Cool looking card, gotta say that. Cannot deny. That that is a good looking card but uh yeah we are going to try and get through this relatively quickly and we don't want to take too long for this video so we are going to jump straight into this no card tricks we're just doing it marowak metacham kofu we're gonna go uh we'll go full right side first on the box and then we'll go full left side now, there has been, it's kind of, I kind, of, kind of can't fully gauge like where everyone's at on this set. This is the Lapras that's getting the 7-Eleven promo. <laughs> that's interesting. Diplin, oh, nice, Ponyta, Dreadnought. This is my wife's favorite Pokemon, so I'll have to put this off to the side. A lot of people, um, a lot of people kind of down on this set. A lot of people really kind of high on it. I'm not that high. I'm high on it, but I'm not I'm not like super high per se. I I just think that the rainbow borders and the I do like Tropagos. If you've seen the anime, um, I like the Tropagos, so I think that that Raging Bolt. I think that that Pokemon is cool. I wish the set was a little bit bigger, but be very interested to see where these boxes end up, where some of the singles end up um, on the market. So. Uh, I think there's something in here. I think I saw something. Oh, Grand Tree. Oh, and the Joltik IR. Let's go. I do like this Joltik IR. That is very cool. The Grand Tree. Great looking card. The Joltik IR. Pretty cool looking card. Nice. All right, so we're we're doing pretty decent so far. Let me know. Uh, let me know what your guys' chase cards are for the set. Or let me know if you're skipping the set, or if you're getting some singles, or what. It's a cool Mewtwo. It's one of those cards where you'd wish wish that that might be a full art or something. So this is the first the mainline set that we've gotten since what Twilight. So yeah, it's been it's been a minute for these since for mainline sets. Okay. I don't e I don't even know what's going on in this card. Uh, that we're gonna sleeve that, but I don't know if that qualifies as a hit. <laughs> um, scene. If you guys watched uh, my last one of my latest videos, we're talking about hit rates from the set, and it's I've seen mixed information on hit rates. I've seen people, uh, Danny Phantom, open like 20 boxes. He had some. He had like one box where he got absolutely smoked. He got only like sixty dollars worth of cards, and then he had somewhere he went absolutely crazy so we'll see what we get from this box oh lapras wow absolutely stunning card all right dang these cards look good i like the rainbow border i'm not complaining so far 
We still got a, we got like what, five or six more on the right side. Tell you what, it has been a long time since I've ripped an actual booster box and this was way overdue. See something poking through. It's just the right, sometimes the regular hollow can look, uh, can look like something special. Um, also, the Ledean IR from the set, I think it's pretty cool. It's uh, underrated. Gen 2 Pokemon, so. Electabuzz, like Lechonk, Zoomerol, Luminion, Grubbin, Luminion. Okay. Orthworm. I guess we'll take it. We'll take what we can get. Probably not one of the cards that you really want from the set, if I'm being completely honest. But we will take it. All right. Wooloo. Gonna go a little, I'll try and go a little bit faster here for you guys. Chonk, King, Noctowl. Noctowl promo I think is cool from the ETB. Raboot, Eevee, Riolu, Toad Scroll, Kofu, Fido. Yeah, the Dash Bun, the Dash Bun IR. Uh, never really been a big fan of that Pokemon, but that the artwork is just too stinking adorable. It's kind of why I'm chasing that one. Uh, between the Bulbasaur and the Squirtle, I think I kind of like the Squirtle better, but we'll see. Oh, if I don't pull, if I don't pull a single, if I don't pull the Bulba or the Squirtle, I'll be a little disappointed. All right, I got a building, Joltik, Fire, Toad, Minshow, a Berry, Coridon, Swalot, Iron Boulder. All right, we got two more on the right side and then we will be halfway through with this opening. Are you guys excited for this set at all, or are you guys just holding out for Surging Sparks? Surging's interesting because we haven't even seen half of the full set yet. Okay, Dash Bun. All right, is this a sign? Is this a sign? We'll take it. Will we get the Dash Bun IR in this box? Surging's looking interesting to me currently. We've only seen half. All right, last from the right side. We've only seen half of the set, and have a feeling that that Pikachu set hopefully is going to be really good. And if it's really good and the first half that we've seen ends up being like the lesser stuff, then it could be a really good set. Tauros, Panseer, Buffalant. All right. Left side packs. Here we go. Feels good to rip some packs. Oops, I skipped two there. Togemaru, Mewtwo again, looking good. Yes! Let's go! Bulba! Heck yes! Yeah! Bulbasaur looking good. Can we get the Squirtle from the same box? Left side treating us well so far. I would absolutely love to complete that with the Squirtle. That would be crazy. Ooh, Rapidash, I'll have to pull that aside for my wife as well. Okay, set that over there with the Ponyta. Let's see what else we can get. We have not pulled an SIR yet. This pack is fighting me. No SIR yet, which not every box is guaranteed an SIR, so we could just get smoked in that regard. Um, I will take any SIR at this point. Ooh, okay. Rainbow Borders are doing it. This one's way OC, but Tropagos, looking good. Okay. Rotom, Fan Rotom, 
Electivire, Double, Iron Boulder, Dreadnought. We got to have at least one more IR in here. Comfy, Joodle, Wulu, Finneon, Lantern, Panchan, Zorora. Oh, okay. Metacham. You know, it's alright. We'll take it. A hit is a hit. Oh, my back. I need a bigger desk. I said this in my last opening. <laughs> I just end up just tossing the bulk. I just toss the bulk everywhere. Score Bunny, Pancham. I hope you guys don't mind. It's just kind of what I have right now. I've been thinking about redoing the office. Oh, Sparkling Crystal. Okay. And nothing. All right. I think you getting two of these in a box is pretty good. I don't know what these are going for. But that is interesting. But yeah, I've been thinking about redoing the office, getting a better background going. I'm not sure, because it'd be a lot of work. But I also I kind of want to move my monitor off of the desk, get it mounted on the wall, because then I'd have a little bit more desk space here. It's kind of something I'm struggling with a little bit, because the monitor is like just past this booster box. And the desk is a little skinny. When I got the desk, I did not think that I would be doing Pokemon card openings on it. So that kind of changed things. Yeah, woo, Raboot, we'll take it. This is a really underrated IR, in my opinion. It's a great looking card. Like this card a lot. Stoked on that. So I'm going to guess, just based off of the number of packs, that that might be our last IR for the box. We will see. So we've gotten a few. Pull rates, uh, pull rates are look like they're going to be about the same. It's just a smaller set. So if we got another one, I would be impressed. Raging Bolt. Ra Raging Bolt, Raging Bolt. So it's been a decent box. Honestly, just getting the Bulbasaur. Getting at least one of my chases was well worth it for me. And just opening packs, getting the experience. Toad School. We got the Rapidash Reverse now. And the Ledian. Okay. We got one, two, three, four. I got like eight. Now this is coming. No, we're not going to. I got to do it in order. That one was coming from the back. We're going front to back. We're just going for it. Do, 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 do. Grievard. Gulpin. Oh, is, I think this is just another one of those standard hollows that's getting me. Yep. Pattern always gets me. Teases me. If you guys have opened any Stellar Crown, let me know uh, what kind of hits you guys have been getting. Let me know in the comments. I'll be interested to... I know that some people in the Discord have already opened some. Saw some good hits, so if you guys want to join the Discord, link is in the description. Kofu. Okay. Not a card on my list, but I will take it. Kofu. That's cool. I think the last time I opened a booster box that I filmed was Scarlet and Violet Base. Oh, gold and Noctowl. Cold area, zero. Wow. Stunning looking card. I think that that means that we are about done on this box. Still five left. I... I don't know. It seems like it seems like we're doing fairly well here. If we pull off anything else. I think I saw that this is just a regular hollow again. I'll set that aside for the misses. Marowak. Comfy. Oh, okay. Nope. We got a, another worm. Another worm. Can... If we got... If there was an SIR or another IR, probably be a pretty loaded box, which is possible. 
We've seen it. We've seen it happen. Be interested to see how Pokemon like sorts these. How they determine what packs go into what boxes. Like how how some can get super loaded and some can be pretty less. You think they would have some sort of way when they're loading them to make them like a little bit more even? But score bunny. All right, two left. Also, if you guys have never seen how trading cards are made, oops, bump the camera. If you've never seen how trading cards are made and you wonder why there's like scratches and stuff, oops, um, yeah, you should watch a video on it. <laughs> They're in mass produced, so. Oh, baby, let's go. Okay, not the card I wanted, but I'll take it. I do not know what this is currently going for on TCG, but I'll have to look that up. Wow. Okay. Well, it's been a pretty good box. All right. Last pack, which is going to have nothing. I'm fairly positive. But that is okay. We did well. Flittle, Grimmasnarl, and Alcrimmy. Okay. So, to take a look at our hits here. This might be, this is a pretty good box. So we got Briar. Dang, great looking card. We got the EX Orthoworm. Got the Gold, Area Zero. Got the Kofu. The Reboot IR, nice. The uh, Sparkling Crystal A Spec, Metacham EX. Dropagos EX with the Border. We got the Bulba. Dash Bun, Orthworm, Lapras. EX. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> the Joltik IR, not bad. The Grand Tree and the Galvantula. So, phew, not a bad box right there. Briar looking. It's a nice looking card. Time for a Stellar Crown ETB rip. We just opened a booster box. I'm not sure if this will end up going in the same video or a different video. But if you're seeing this separately, go back and watch the booster box video because that ended up doing really well. We had a really good booster box, not gonna lie. So this ETB here, we're gonna take a look at obviously the packs. I'm not really concerned with the, the dice and all that stuff, but we are also going to take a look at the promo. Now the promo, they just changed and they started packaging it, if you guys aren't familiar. Uh, in the dividers and I really like this promo I like great artwork Noctowl right super nice so um, we're gonna set that to the side we're not gonna open that um, right now we are going to just to go straight into this opening and kind of just see what we can do they like said the booster box went pretty well so um, we only got if I'm being honest I only got one of my chase cards but value-wise, we did really good. So we'll see. Ooh, okay, we pulled this in the booster box as well, the Terrapagos. Stunning looking card, honestly. Just vibrant. So, um, the Terrapagos SIR, the Dash Bun SIR, the Hydrapple SIR, those are the SIRs that we want. For IRs, um, we're pretty much only looking for the Squirtle now. But I would, I would take the, um, uh, the Zorora would be nice as well. Sorry, I'm skipping cards here. Lantern, Tauros, Lacey, Bouffalant. Okay, move the hits over here with the, the promo. What do you guys think about promos in general? I think they're cool. I mean, it is nice that you can get like a guaranteed card, but it's kind of unfortunate sometimes some of the promos they pick because. It'd be so much cooler if they could just keep those in the sets, you know? So, yeah. Like, like, some, like, um, the, uh, like that Greninja promo that just came out. Dude, that card was wild. Can you imagine if that was actually in a set? Especially if it ended up being hard to pull. It'd be just insane.
but you gotta have you gotta have good promos most of the time to make people want to buy the product so i get it mewtwo applin raging bolt all right so so far so far not too good on our packs here we got a half hit i would call it with that minor ex but maybe there's something big gonna get made up for i don't know could get smoked this could be the worst etb opening of all time i've seen some pretty bad ones some people have been posting so it wouldn't totally surprise me but it would be unfortunate two packs left now they could make up for it um with an sir the squirtle charge a bug we'll see we will see. Grievard. Elagos. Mewtwo Reverse. Orthworm EX. Oh, all right. Last pack. Um, yeah, this might just get included in the Booster Box video if this goes poorly. <laughs> Booster Box went well. One pack to redeem it. All right. Let's see. Wooloo, Diplin. Pans here, Jirachi, Lapras, Pancham, Electivire. Oh, okay. Lacey. All right. I, we'll take that. Okay. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Can't complain. Can't complain with that. Not what we were hoping for, but we'll take it. So, in summary, promo. Good looking promo. And Earthworm. Tropicos, which is nice looking, and the Lacey. So yeah, ETB, ETB did not hit quite as hard, but that is gonna do it for this one, guys. Um, yeah, just a little uh, stellar crown opening for you guys. Um, remember, it was never a phase.